<laughs> Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm the Gangster Lab. Yeah. You've already done the Gangster Lab. No, I haven't done the Gangster Lab. Can I get in the picture? No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Thank um, you, my man. There you go. We're doing this week's. Have I done this? No, because I'm sure you've done the Gangster Get a boy. Get a boy. Get a boy. Okay. All right. We're doing our uh, pick of the week. As I said, I am drunk. This is Marky. So, my pick of the week was issue number one of Highland Lassie. Laddie. 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 Lassie. <laughs> wow, I just turned into You turned a, girl, a boy into a girl. It was in a, one word. Yeah, it was a decent comic. I like how they got rid of uh, Herbie. Or is, it, is it good or decent? Because it's your pick of the week. Yeah, this week wasn't that impressive. I read 14... That wasn't this week, was it? Yeah, yeah it, it was. was. It was good. The girls stole the best books this week, and they went before us, yeah. so we're screwed. Yeah, so the Highland Laddie was, is part of the boys. Is following her... Uh, Huey? Huey. Uh, Huey found out his girlfriend's actually part of the Seven which are a superhero group. He decides to go back to Ireland or whatnot to just kind of escape the world. He has some fucked up friends that he used to hang out with. Like, one's a cross-dresser now, and the other guy just wears a gas mask because he smells all the time. <laughs> and I guess his mom wears a gas mask. Uh, it looks like there's... Like, he used to be like Scooby-Doo. Um, him and his two buddies used to solve crime. Yeah, Mr. Si or Society. Yeah, that was good. No, Mr. Yeah. And like, Holy shit. Like, they used to solve crimes, and like, now there's a crime going on, and. I, you know, I like Huey, but I, I like his hamster more. Um. Herbie! Yeah, goddamn, I want that Herb Herbie up my ass. I need a new beer. Um. It's good. It's not, in my opinion, it's not as good as horrorgasm, hero-gasm. But of course, this is the first issue. It's definitely a pick up, especially if you like boys. And as you guys hopefully know that boys is my number one pick. I like it. I don't care much for his buddies. I think the Russian dude shows up in the next issue. Uh, with the big ass balls. I can't think of his name. Yeah. So, we're going to see where this goes. I think it's a six parter. Hopefully, it's going to be good. Are you going to grade it? Um, one through ten. Fuck. If I had to grade this for one through ten, this week was kind of not that promising. I'm giving it like a seven. Maybe Ouch. a six and a half. Like, they didn't show Mother Milk, they didn't show Frenchie, they didn't show the girl. You gotta pick one. Six and a half or seven. You gotta pick one, my man. 6.75. There you <laughs> go. Ha <laughs> ha. Charlie Buffett. So, yeah. So, uh, check it out. Especially if you like the boys. Read it. I'm pretty sure it'll pick up. You just have some fucked up friends. And, I don't know. What was your pick? You don't know. That's fucking what I said. I don't know. Do you know anything this week? I don't know. I Did like Shot eat? Talk. I just found mm -hmm. that out. Who? Fear in front of him. My pick of the week is going to be The Last Phantom. Did this? Was this that any good? Did that come out last week? No. No. It came out this week. Did it? Okay. The Last Phantom. Alex Ross cover. The Last Phantom. I believe this is another Alex Ross cover. I don't fucking uh, know, though. I love Alex Ross covers. I still don't like his work that much inside the book, so. He's a, he's a cover demon, though. Which is great for The Last Phantom. No, uh, there's another company that has the Phantom going on right now. Not it. Uh, I think it just ended. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dynamite just picked up all rights. Uh, from what I understand, the company just, like, gave... Phantom to Dynamite, it end it, and this one takes over. Oh. And it's it's pretty cool because I remember the movie The Phantom. Didn't like it, didn't want. And and it was all right, and it had Billy Zane, which made it kind of. Girls yeah. like Billy Zane. Zane. I like Billy Zane. Everybody Are likes Billy Zane. Billy Zane's a cool dude. 
Did you not? Did you not see Zoolander? Listen to your friend. He's a cool dude. All right. Now, don't be harsh on my boner and shut up. <laughs> All right. So, the last Phantom here. The first half of this book is a little slow. But it's an issue one, so you can accept that because it's setting up some storyline. The second half of this book, as I'm reading, when I get to the last page, I'm not trying to give you any storylines here. I don't want to do any spoilers on this one because I really actually liked it. Uh, I get to the last page and I'm like, that's the fucking last page. I want issue two right the fuck now. Is it a mini or is it ongoing? I, I have no idea, but I want issue two. And if, the more you talk about it, the more I want issue two. So stop talking before I kill you with my power rings. You're the one that brought up. All right. I don't give a shit. No talking. Phantom. I, I liked it. It was good. The art inside the books is good as well. I have no idea who do, does it because Dynamite doesn't seem to put any names on the cover. Is it Alex? I don't think Alex did the inside. Because it doesn't look painted on the inside. Uh, I'm looking, but I'm drunk as fuck, right, yeah, written okay. by, colored by, illustrated by illustrated. Simon Boland. You're a fucking badass, because that was a good art. I'm going to try to show it to the camera, but they're kind of small squares, so I don't know if it'll pick it up for you. I'm trying, there's a glare all over the place. You might be able to see the bottom there. It's just, it's good art. It's, it's not the best art I've ever seen, but it's good. And it goes well with the story. That it's basically kind of a story of a guy that he's lost everything, and he's willing to do anything, and he's got the training to do it. And when you're reading it, like I said, the first half a little slow. As you go though, you kind of feel this character's desires and wants, and you just want him to succeed at whatever he's doing. The, the writing just sucks you in, and as you read, the further you go, the better it gets. So I'm hoping issue two doesn't kind of dangle off and, and fall off the, the, you know, whatever they've set up here. I want issue two, two to keep going, because if it keeps going and building on me, this could very easily move in and, and knock off one of those top five books I listed earlier in our top five books reviews. That This could be a great, great story. I'm hoping that it can pull through and keep building. Because if it keeps building by issue 10, I'm going to be all orgasmic over this thing. And yeah, it's going it, it, to. It, it's, it's just. It, it's a good story setup. And as far as issue 1s go, this is a great read. Issue 1s tend to be slow. But this one's only slow for about 12 out of the 24 or 26 pages, whatever it is. The second Whoa. half is just boom, 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 boom. And the last two pages are boom, 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 the boom. Bi the big bass drum come kicking in, wow, and you wow. want more. Okay, uh, shit, we got a lot of time. A lot of time. I'm not done yet. I haven't graded this guy. Okay, what would you rate it? All right, because of the slow first half, I'm going to grade it down a little bit, but because of the great art and the, the cover art by Alex Ross, which is really good, this, this is better than a lot of Alex Ross art. This this art makes you want to read the book. I'm going to give it a 8, maybe 8.5. Um, I'm hoping that on the next uh, review, if I do another review here, I'm thinking an issue 2 here could be a 9 because the story built up as it went. So I'm thinking this could be a very, very successful series that runs at a 9, 9.5 level. I don't think this could reach a top 10 level. I, I just don't think so without having a real steady bad guy set up. But, like I said, I think this could reach a number 9. Cool. Um, did you read Did you read that? No, I You haven't. didn't read it. You need uh, to read it. Yeah, I'll have to read it. Hey, wow, we did Dynamite. Dynamite, good week. Good job. Good, good week for Dynamite. Uh... Great week for one DC book known as Batman Beyond. I wanted to review it, but the girls beat Legacy me to it. Legacy wasn't bad. Legacies was good, but I would have given it, if I was grade, grading like a, a teacher, I would have given it a B, and I felt like Batman Beyond got an A++. Plus plus. <laughs> and he's going with the A+. Plus. 
It was oh, oh yeah. shit, where did we go? My laddie one got like a B minus. And, and I'd probably, if I was going grade rating, I'd give this a B plus. So this was my best book of the week that they didn't review. Damn girls beat yeah. us to it. I did read, start reading a Wasteland by, oh, fuck, Ion. Uh, they got like the little dragon, demon looking guy. Yeah. Did you say Ion? Is it Icon? Icon. No, 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 no. Uh, I. They always have like post apocalyptic books. I'm not gonna pretend to know because yeah. I just don't know. It, what it you're was actually about. good. I like started reading it. Uh, black and white comic, wasteland. They like it, it couldn't have been that great if a B minus or whatever was your pick well, of the week. Well, that's because like they're older comics, so I started reading like some older comics. Decent. Um, yeah, nothing this week that came out really. Stood out that made me go, holy fuck. You, you know, I read another good book, but because it's further, and I, from my understanding, it runs miniseries. I actually had to look this up online. And within the miniseries, it's some crazy number. The book says 28 on it. It also says 1 out of 5. I read this book here um, through Dark Horse called Fear Agent. It's a very super sci fi read. It was actually kind of hard to read, and not because it was bad. I would totally give this a B minus, but it might get a better rating if I had read the previous books. It's very, very interesting, and for serious sci-fi fans, I suggest it. And I'm not just talking to comic book fans. This, this is real sci-fi. This might be to like the sci-fi book fans. This one is, it, it's almost a rough read as far as uh, comic books go. It's very, very wordy. It feels like it breaks the comic book rules of how many page words can be on a page. It's longer than a normal comic book. Uh, but it was, even for just where I picked it up, it was not totally incoherent. It, it made sense. It was just hard to read because it was like I picked it up in the middle, but it still made sense. And I'd, I'd give it a B minus if I was grade rating it at 7.5, 8, 8, somewhere in there if I was on the 10 point scale. And last this week was also issue 50 of, uh, uh, it was the last issue of, uh, M uh Mecco, something another, something another. It's the last issue. You're not helping anybody. Nope. Nope. Uh, whatever 50, last issue. Whoever you are, they did on 50. He's talking about you. I, I haven't read it. But it's the last issue. Why are you talking about it, Seth? Yeah, well, the comic book forums are kind of crazy about being the last issue of it. <laughs> are we out of time yet? That way we can go on to the next thing. Yeah, I'm drunk enough to say we're out of time. We we miss you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Jonah X.